Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to tell you about public static void main. What does it mean in Java, right? So this is one of another video in the playlist of Java beginners, right? And if you are really looking to learn core Java from scratch, from the beginning, and you don't have any knowledge prior to that, then you can trust on this playlist and you can just go through this entire playlist one by one, right? So let us look into these details. What is public static void main, right? So we will be telling you what is this public static void main, right? Yeah. Now, what is public, right? So public, so let us, let us, uh, you know, uh, dissect this entire thing into small, small pieces and then let us understand each and everything. This would help you to understand in detail, right? Now, what is public static void main? Now, pause this video and think from for one second that what could it be, right? It's plain English language. Void means null, blank, right? Main means the, the main authority, you can tell, right? Static means it's going to be constant, right? Public means it will be accessible. Public means when, when you uh, tell public, so what is the other word that is coming in your mind? That is privacy, right? Anything that is available publicly, anything that is available in privacy, right? So this is how it happens, right? So public static void main. So this was a very generic, a plain text from layman language, right? Now, what is actually meaning of this public static void main with respect to Java? Now, let us see this public word, right? It is an access modifier. So we will look into access modifiers. Those are available in Java, but for now you can understand it's an access modifier which specifies from where and who can access the method, right? For example, uh, there is a home, right? And it has been locked, but the family members would be having the key which can unlock that particular home and they can go in, right? So the access is given to those family members. Right. So similarly, public, it's an access modifier which specifies from where and who can access. Who can access? So that is understood from that family home example from where. Right. So consider uh, if it's a, uh, you know, banking account and you have the authority, you have the rights. These days, bank accounts are there in the mobile phones also. You can access it from anywhere. Right. So, but you only can, you are only authorized to access it. Right now, we are making the main method public so that it is globally available. Right, it is made public so that JVM can invoke it from outside the class as it is not present in the current class. Now, we had also seen what is JVM, what is JDK, JRE in the last video. Right, so if you haven't watched the video, you can go through those videos first. We also show you how the uh, what is happening behind the scene when you write a program in Java. Right. So you can go through that video. Right. So what is public static void main? So from that public is this particular thing in an interview also in, uh, you know, they might ask you, why do we always write public static void main? Can we write, write private static void main? What would happen? So it is made public so that JVM can invoke it from outside the class, right? As it is not present in the current class. Now, what is static, right? So static is a keyword. Right, it's a keyword. There are various keywords that those are available in Java. Right, it is one of the keyword which is associated with a method. Right, making it a class related method. Now, main method is static so that JVM can instantiate it without instantiating the class. Right, this saves the unnecessary wastage of memory. Now, let's say if you create, if you instantiate it and then you use it, there is no point in that. That's why the main method is directly static. Right, and if you create the object, then unnecessarily memory is being created. Memory is being utilized, right? For calling the main method by the JVM. So there is no point of doing that. You can directly declare main method as static itself, right? Now, what, what is void? Void is again a keyword, right? It is a keyword and it is used to specify that a method does not return anything. Now, the moment you say void, you won't be having any return statement in your function. Right. But let's say if you need some output of, from that function, which needs to be used in some other function, let's say there is a function A from which you are reading the value. Right. And there is a function B in which you will be utilizing that particular value. Then you can put return. You need something from that. 
right? But if you don't need anything, you can um, you can keep void over there, right? The return type is void. As soon as the main method will terminate, the Java program will terminate, right? Hence, it does not make any sense to return from the main method, right? As JVM cannot do anything with the return value of it, right? So this is the crux, right? So see, these are very important keywords. Why I have mentioned the slide so that you listen to this, you see this video and this explanation and you understand these words. If you speak these words in an interview, right, you will, the interviewer will come to know, yes, he or she is having good knowledge. So understand from this lines, right? This is the proper understanding, right? So JVM will, uh, don't do, does not, does, in, uh, you know, it does not, uh, performs any responsibility, does not hold any responsibility once the main method is ending, right? So there is no point in having some kind of return statement in main methods, right? Now, what is main? It is the name of the Java main method, right? It's not a keyword. So in an interview, you might get this question. Is main also a keyword now? Because when you will explain, no, in an interview, static is a keyword. Void is also one of the keyword. One of the interviewer might cross question you. Okay, so main is also a keyword, right? So it's not a keyword. It's name of the Java main method. It is identified that the JVM looks for as a starting point of the Java. Okay, so this is public static void main. And at the end, you will write string arguments, right? So here, the name of the string array is arguments, but it is not fixed. And the user can use any name in the place of it, right? So it's actually an array of type java.lang.string class, right? So whenever you write main method, this is the address. This is how you will write the main method. For example, you will have some name, first name and last name that you will mention in your other card. In the other card, you will mention whether it's a, uh, maybe for some people, First name will be first and then it will be followed by the father's name and then the last name. So that's a way of telling their name. In some uh, other cards, you will find that the uh, wife's name is first and then it's followed by a husband name and then the surname. In some places, you will find in some other cards that the last name is put first. Or sometimes even father name is put first and then your name and then the surname. So... This are the how this is how as per their customs they are writing names right so what is public static void mean so public static void mean is a way is a type to write the main method right okay now let us look this uh, let us create our first program right and we will mention public static void mean in that so let me share my screen and uh, any ID you can use right? I have multiple IDs. I have Eclipse also. I have IntelliJ also, but I would prefer you to go for uh, IntelliJ as an ID because it is very, uh, you know, smooth. It is very fast. It is very helpful, right? Rather than you go for Eclipse. So go for IntelliJ. If you already have hands-on on Eclipse, then don't just switch to IntelliJ directly. Work for two hours in Eclipse. Work for two hours in IntelliJ. And slowly and gradually, you can it up from there right so now let us write our first program right so we will write like this okay main method declaration it says press enter to insert okay. so and see it is user friendly also it is directly bringing the tags also right it will also show you errors now control click or press alt and enter right move member into the class right so this also we will explain you right so now let me write one statement in this any statement uh So, for example, if I write test, okay. 
see now we are getting this error over here now why we are getting this error because we haven't declared the class name right inside package directly we have declared the main method now let's create the class name also so by default it will come but i just deleted it so that i can tell you right so public class main is the name of this class right and this block we will keep here so this is public static void main, right? System dot out dot break. Now let us run this program. So now you can see we don't have any run option enabled here. So why it's not getting enabled? So you need to write string arguments here. Okay. Now you can see the run button enabled. You can run program from here. Right. Just click on that green option and it will print your program hello world. Right. So it is printing. So this is your first program. And uh, if you haven't used any of the ID, then directly go for IntelliJ because it will be difficult for you to switch from Eclipse to IntelliJ. So it's better to use IntelliJ because IntelliJ is smart enough. It will help you with the basic, uh, uh, you know, problems that you will be facing in your writing Java programs. Right. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.